my fellow all the addicts it's jackie and i have my week of grocery shopping i will share with you our meal plan at the end and also give you a sneak peek of what my aldi says we're getting next week even though we don't always get it so let's get going while I'm sharing with you every item I will pop the price up but I'm not going to say the price as I'm going just because I have a lot of stuff and it's a lot to keep track of as I'm trying to say it right but I have a baguette I absolutely love buying these baguettes I frequently have them in our shopping list and it's a take and bake so you just pop it in the oven get it nice and crispy but I buy these for a lot of meals just as a side but we are having charcuterie this week as a dinner it's one of our family favorites and we always slice a bag up for that. I actually have, I actually planned on making a focaccia bread this week. However, when I saw these, Aldi had them, they were $1.99 and it was a buy now, like an Aldi find item. And I thought Aldi's reading my mind because I was already gonna make one, but for $2, it was definitely worth me purchasing it instead and it looked really yummy. So you see the garlic bits in there. I'm excited to give this a try. We're having it with probably our Alfredo dinner. Just regular bread for toast. My son really is on a toast kick, or if we have grilled cheese, my kids kind of fend for themselves between leftovers or sandwiches, grilled cheese, mac and, or grilled cheese, peanut butter and jelly at lunch. So bread comes in for that, pretty handy. These four waters, I just love to have them on hand to drink while I'm fasting. I only have coffee and water throughout the day. You guys may know that already, but I really love to have these waters on hand. And we got milk for cereal, basically drinking chocolate milk, whatever we have. Basic milk needs. I was excited to find this mango orange juice last week. I saw it. I asked my kids if they would like me to get this for smoothies. My two youngest, my nine and four year old, love smoothies. I'd say I probably make them smoothies for breakfast three or four times a week. And they both said that the mango orange juice would be good. So I got that. Almond milk. I love to have that with granola. You guys know that. I still have granola a lot from last week. I also like to just drink it. It's only 30 calories a cup and I think it's really yummy. And I kind of became addicted to having it in the fridge at all times. This grape juice, my husband asked me for that which I didn't even think of it when I got the orange juice. He doesn't like mango, so it's a good thing there's a different juice for him. Um, not that he'd like complain, but you know, I kind of felt bad when I realized he wouldn't like the orange juice. I got these, ugh, these this jar of green olives. I know these are only 79 cents. And then the Kalamata olives were on sale for $1.99. So both of these are for the charcuterie board. Same as the pepperoncinis, the pickles, and the artichoke salad. We like to have all of this out as we pick the meat, the cheese. My meat for this charcuterie is the leftover pepperonis from Stromboli last week. We have about half a pack left. And then that is kind of what got me to want to make charcuterie was that we'll have pepperoni, we might as well. So all of these are for the charcuterie board. There's not a ton of really seasonal fruit right out right now. I still have a lot of apples in my fridge when I stacked up. And then also I had an imperfect foods delivery, which I got a lot of apples with that. But other than that, between bananas and apples, I needed to supplement with something. So I got this fruit cocktail. I've shared this the last few weeks. My kids have actually really been enjoying this because it's been so long since I purchased it and they sell it in fruit juice or in a concentrate. I always make sure I get the fruit juice. It's only 95 cents and it's like the perfect serving for all three of my kids to devour. So I just got a couple more of those. I got more butter um, just because we keep it on hand. We're running low. Garlic salt, same thing. I'm just running low in my little spice rack over there for garlic salt. I will refill it. 
I have spray olive oil because I'm running low and the olive oil is the oil of choice for especially the air fryer. I don't want to use something synthetic like Pam. So I got olive oil. We are just running low on baking powder. My husband asked me to get this. He made muffins as I was leaving for Aldi this morning and he said we were running low. The vanilla pudding I have for a cake I'm making. I'm making a chocolate devil's food cake and you add pudding into it and then I'm making an Oreo whipped frosting on top and then I have a friend whose birthday she her and her kids are coming over for dinner this week and they're like the first guest we've had over in so long I'm pretty excited about it but for her birthday I'm making her an Oreo cake and you're supposed to add chocolate pudding but I'm not the biggest chocolate lover so I wanted to add vanilla instead egg rolls we are having egg roll in a bowl which I know it sounds funny, but I also want to have egg rolls on the side. But it's a stir fry. You use ground chicken, cabbage, and then carrots, and then a bunch of Asian spices and sauces. And it's pretty darn healthy. It's very low carb, but I'm going to add in some carb because I wanted to have these on the side. So I am making a pan sheet quesadilla. I don't know if you guys have seen. I've seen it on TikTok and even on Facebook where you, you layer a cookie sheet with tortillas and then you put all your quesadilla toppings, shredded cheddar, tortillas. You put whatever you're gonna have in it. So I have some frozen rotisserie chicken and I'm going to put half chicken, half cheese. And then I still have some cilantro on my fridge and then you fold it. So it's like an entire cookie sheet worth of a quesadilla. We're gonna make those this week. So I had to get tortillas and shredded cheddar. One interesting thing, I got mild cheddar block cheese, but then I saw the cube cheese. They were both $1.69. So I didn't pay any extra for it to be chopped like this. And I'm gonna put this right on my charcuterie board. And then Asiago, I always keep either a Parmesan or an Asiago in the fridge and We'll have this. My husband likes to have the hard cheese on a meat and cheese board. And then I like to have it just to shred over pasta or put in a sauce. My Aldi didn't have the ribbon pasta that was advertised last week as coming this week. So I was disappointed. But they did have a lot of different Italian things. And one of them was this. Um, I'm not even going to try because I don't speak Italian. But I read it as fettuccine. Obviously it says fettuccine. Fettuccine. But it was $1.09 for this, and we're going to have fettuccine alfredo this week. It'll be a vegetarian meal. That's probably when I'll make the focaccia, and then I have green beans later, and we'll make an alfredo sauce. I got the guacamole as a, for a side for my, for my sheet pan quesadilla, and then I'll freeze one of the packets. I love this stuff. I've never bought the pita garlic and chive chips, but I thought they looked really good. And then my favorite six cracker assortment got a makeover. So it looks way different, but it's still, I think the same. We all love these crackers, six crackers for less than $3. It's such a good value. It comes in a little tray and these will last us way longer than one dinner's worth. So we'll probably actually have charcuterie next week. Um, because I, by the time I buy all of this stuff and the cheeses, the price adds up, which added to a larger total this week, but it lasts for a long time. The potato chips are for hot chicken salad. I'm making that for dinner this week with tater tots that I already have in the freezer. And my friend that's coming over, she loves it with me. It has celery, mayonnaise, a bunch of seasonings. It's a recipe that I made trying to duplicate a local restaurant. And her and I both really love it. So I'm making that this week. The hot chicken salad is topped with cheddar cheese and potato chips. So that's what I got those for. Sour cream, just for a topper of the quesadillas. Flour, because we're running low and my husband made muffins and I made and I made pizza dough last night for the stromboli. So we were just running lower on flour. We never wanna run out of that, of course. The tangerine waters, we drink the Bellevue waters all the time around here. And we ran out of tangerine. We still have some grapefruit, so I had to get more. My 11 year old asked for some flavored ice cream, chocolate chip cookie dough. And then I was gonna get a gallon of vanilla because we're completely out of that, but they didn't have any. They're stocking a lot of stuff. I have a feeling they just haven't stocked the ice cream yet this morning. So I'll be doing a midweek trip. That's not unusual, but I'll be getting vanilla ice cream and I already realized I should have gotten eggs because I have two box mixes. I plan to make this. This is the one I'm using for the Oreo cake I told you guys about. But then my daughter, I got a text asking if I'd get um, white cake for her to make cupcakes 
And between the two of these, I don't have enough eggs. With my husband making the muffins this morning and two cake mixes, I realized I should have had eggs on the shopping list. I didn't, and I'll already need to go. So I'll get vanilla ice cream and eggs. So my daughter just, my 11 year old just wants to make vanilla uh, cupcakes. So I got these for her via text. She had my husband ask me, Ma, get, have mom get me a cupcake mix. This is what I'm using for the Oreo. So I only crumble this and add it to the whipped topping. And of course I needed powdered sugar for that. I know we have powdered sugar in our pantry, but we're just running low and I knew we'd probably need more by the time I made the icing. The ground chicken is for the egg roll in a bowl, of course. Just cook this ground and then it has a bunch of seasonings. It's pretty simple, but it's really yummy. This was an Aldi find. It was in the frozen coolers right by the cheeses. I don't know if your Aldi is set up the same way, but I saw this in the ad last week and I thought it sounded good and I thought my kids would probably eat this really well as a lunch. Again, I normally make them kind of eat leftovers or fend for themselves as far as fruits, veggies, and something else that they can make, especially, I mean, mainly my older two make their lunches. But I thought this would be a fun um, addition to their lunches and all three of them have agreed that they look forward to eating it. Nothing fun here, but I am a fan of the Blossom pads. I stock up every time I buy, buy it or I'm getting low, I just buy more or I buy more than I need so I don't run out essentially. So got two of those. They were even on sale. They were six cents off a pack. And then I got a uh, box of tissues and the limit was one. I was gonna buy more for all of my bathrooms because we're running out and there was a limit of one. So I have to buy more when I go back. You might think this is all, but it's not because I had so much stuff I had to walk over here today. So I got bananas to munch on and also for smoothies, same thing. Berry medley is for the smoothies. And then I was so stoked. If you watched a few weeks, maybe a month ago, you guys know I was buying rice cauliflower to try it out. And then I was gonna make my own rice cauliflower. Well, by the time I tried this and I liked it so much, I realized it wasn't even worth making. So I, the last few weeks I've been trying to buy it again and they don't have it. They had it this week, so I bought four bags. So you can steam it right in this bag or you can cook it from frozen. And it's only 80 calories for the entire bag. It's such a good substitute in my opinion and I love cauliflower. So I got four bags just so I didn't potentially run out again. And I had to laugh because the goodbye date is January of 2023. So I definitely will go through two bags and then, or four bags in the next two years. I got green onions not only for salads, but also the quesadillas. Green beans will be a side with a dinner this week. Same with asparagus. I'm not exactly sure how it's gonna land, but I knew they'd be good sides this week. And then I got two bags of the classic coleslaw. It's funny, last week I showed you guys we had so much coleslaw and I was like, yes, I am gonna be making egg roll in a bowl. I was inspired. And this week I got like two of the last bags. They were almost gone. So I don't know if they just got a random shipment and they don't normally keep it, but I got them. My nine-year-old asked for cantaloupe this week, so we'll be having that as a fruit. I will probably cut this in half and then We'll get at least two meals worth of a fruit out of it. My kids, all three, will eat this really good. I just slice it and serve it as a sliver and they pick it up and eat it. It's super easy and my kids all love it. And then the ginger, of course, for egg roll in a bowl. It's way more than I need, but ginger lasts for quite a while in your fridge and then you can even um, grate it and freeze it. So that was $1.99 for that. And now I have finished my haul and I'll show you my meal plan for the week. Ribbon sheet pan, quesadillas, hot chicken salad with the tater tots, egg roll in a bowl, Alfredo. Unfortunately, I didn't get the um, pasta that I wanted, but they had the new fettuccine. We're having charcuterie. And then my husband and I are hoping to get a date night and go out to eat, and then we'll have leftovers or a pantry meal. I'm gonna try to, I'll probably be keeping that as a staple on my meal plan because my pantry became out of control and I still have so many pantry meals that if we don't have leftovers, I'll make something from the pantry. So this is my meal. Okay, so in the ad for next week, I know a lot of people have, um, in the Aldi Facebook groups, have kind of differing opinions on the Reuben Bites. That's not something that my family would try. I'm the only one that would probably eat corned beef, and even me, it doesn't look that good. I do want to purchase these 
luck or lucky charms cookie dough that looks really yummy and for 250 i think it'd be a good snack for my family lots of green for saint patrick's day coming up so my only has advertised that they're going to have these a few times different storage shelves we keep not getting them i would love to find one of these that i can put in my that i can have for my coffee bar they're having a convection oven for, they're having a convection oven for the countertop this is something i'm going to look for going on clearance i really don't want to pay fifty dollars but i want one because my daughter and i are going to be living kind of in like a hotel room situation this summer and we won't have a full-on kitchen, but one of these would be useful, but I definitely don't want to pay $15, $50 for it, so I'm going to look for a clearance of that. Obviously, that'll be a long time coming. Um, that ladder is super cute. I don't need it, but hello. Can you sell that blanket, Aldi? It's not in here as an item. I think it's just a prop, but how cute is that? And then there's lots of goodies for seafood on the back. I'm guessing because it's Lent season, and a lot of people do fish on Fridays, but... I don't do any of that. I don't know much about it. I could be wrong. The only thing on this that I'm super interested in are these specialty salt grinders. I love the Violet. I actually have one in my cupboard now, so I'm not looking to buy one. But if you like, um, but I definitely recommend trying the Violet Sea Salt. It's super pretty. I don't know if it tastes different, to be honest, but I love the way it looks on like breads or putting it on top of eggs and toast. It looks really pretty. If you're interested in the hot chicken salad that I talked about, you can check out that video right here. It's on my other channel, Jackie of All Things Domestic. I share with you step by step how I make the recipe that I came up with. It's super delicious and I highly recommend you try it. Thank you so much for watching. Ciao down and ciao.